going to start the nose, but just before I do that, I just want to show you, if you're very, very careful, you don't press hard with this, just go over it and just quieten it down a little bit, do it a little bit at a time like I'm showing you here. Now that is about right. Don't want to press too hard, otherwise it all smudge together. But you see it quietens it down. Right. A little bit of white. We don't want too much of this. It's going to be grey. We're not going to hardly have any white here at all. But we just want a little touch of colour in there. And then the bulk of the top of the area of here is going to be 230. We do the same thing down here. It might be a well, nice idea just to put just a little bit of white in here. It just brightens it up when you put the 230 on. It's a little bit lighter. Okay. And then we want two double three. Quite dark. That's the darkest area where the nostril are, and this is just the top of the nostril, which is not quite as dark. That will be made more obvious when I get the 181 on in a minute. Okay, and then around the outer edges of that. I think I better sharpen this up. And then we want just a little bit of grey on top of there, like that. Now, just before we go any further, let's just put in 181 here. A little bit of extra weight. And there. And then, now we've got that in, we can be a little bit bolder with our 233 grey. The fact that you've got the white and the grey on there means that this isn't going to be that strong. Good. Now, 181. Go around the outer edge because this is where we get the definition and the detail from. The measures are very difficult to do. And this isn't going to be any easier for you. And again, because we've got the light grey underneath there, this isn't going to be represented that strong. And it's 181. Right, another black. Actually, before we put the black on, I'm going to use another colour here. And 169. There's just a hint of this in it. It's the only place. Yeah, I may be putting some in the mouth a little later on, but there's just a little hint of this colour on it. And it's nice to put it in at this stage before we put the, the black on there. We don't want it to stray though, can we? There we are. And then we put the black on. You can see the influence, can't you, of the 169 there. Right. A little bit of lighter grey. 
just there and then you really what you do is reverse what you did to start with put the light grey on then we put a little bit of white on but what in the middle there we want that to be just a little darker And the reason this works so well is the light grey 230 is a brilliant blender, which means we can use it to, like a shaper. It needs to be just a little bit darker than that. That was black I was using there, now this is one straight one. And then a little bit of white. Once again, acting like a blender. Terrific. Finish this nose off now. It's a little darker here. And a little darker on the top. Like that, leaving just a little bit of a gap there between the two dark tones. And then in here. We can use black now, yeah, just to break that down just a little bit more, make it just a little bit more um, light in it. This is going to be quite dark under here. a little hint tone there, a little bit of hint there, and just a little more there. And I think I'm going to leave it at that for the time being. You can always return, it's always a good idea. If you're not really sure of something, just leave it for a little while and return. Just make that just a little bit. That's nice. I like that. It looks good. So, yes, you can always come back to them. So there we are. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is the tongue. Now that's good fun. 